the echoes of history are unmistakable in our current climate. The rise of extremist views has created a dangerous environment and radical intolerance leads a society to no longer celebrate differences, but to instead conspire to demonize those who are different to the point of creating the other. The idea of the other is an idea that poisons discourse and creates a dangerous wedge throughout our communities. Othering rationalizes prejudice and encourages the willful denial and distortion of reality to enforce preconceptions. Othering is the kindling that fuels extremism and illiberalism. And we see every day how the machinery of extremism is being used on college campuses, where now fully 50% of students say they have experienced some discrimination because they are Jewish. The creation of the other and the dehumanization of any group based on their differences are the foundations of fascism. It's an old playbook, but it's been dusted off and being widely distributed today. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And I am increasingly alarmed that we may be condemned to repeat history, to once again have to fight for the very right to be Jewish. In the face of brutality and persecution, we have always been a resilient and compassionate people who all understand the power of empathy. We can rage against the heinous acts committed by the terrorists of October 7th and also decry the killing of innocent women and children in Gaza. This makes us a unique force for good in the world. It is crucial in the wake of the horrific October 7th massacre. It is crucial to the stopping of political violence caused by misinformation, conspiracy theories, and ignorance. It is crucial because stopping the rise of anti-Semitism and hate of any kind is critical to the health of our democratic republic and the future of democracy all over the civilized world.